Thank you so very much for this opportunity to pitch the next great sitcom to you today. Hope you greatly enjoyed All Holics. That was our opportunity to show you being funny a number of voices, being a PG rated type funny. I think that's what you're looking for, and that's what I hope we demonstrated here. But let's not waste time. Let's get right to the pitch. I think I've got the idea. I think I've got the winner. But here it is. Here's the pitch. Here's the next big thing to take over NBC and your big lineup of comedy. Boston, Massachusetts, Neighborhood Bar. It's owned, operated by a Red Sox pitcher who's washed yeah. up and... Cheers. Yeah, that's right. Okay, scratch that. Here is the next big thing. New York City, stand-up comedian, kooky neighbor, crazy friend, ex-girlfriend. Damn it. I missed that one. Okay, here it is. This is going to win. Two brothers, Nantucket, Wait. airline. Where'd this guy come from? Can, can anyone tell me where, where this... Okay, here it is. Flash, I'm not screwing around. Six friends, New York. Come on. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hope you're still watching. Those are great NBC comedies, some of my favorites. Just give it a little tribute. That is not the idea. The idea for my show is called Startup. Startup is obviously about a startup venture. Location is somewhat inconsequential. The product is inconsequential. It's about the environment. Having been in a startup, having started and co-founded a company 12 years ago, I can tell you it is a very, very unique experience. Different inter-office politics, different political correctness. It's just such a different environment because there's no rules, there's no regulations, there's no human resources. So we get to go a little bit out of bounds, but keeping with a winning theme, and that is workplace comedy. I think it's going to work. In terms of the pilot, here's what I'm envisioning. Two partners, college roommates, the conservative CFO type, the risky sales type. It's their last day. They don't know if they're going to make it. They're out of money. They're pretty much having a beer, toasting the last day of this business. They have the opportunity to meet an investor who inconsequentially comes into their building, meets them. They tell them their story over a few drinks later. Next thing you know, he's their investor. He's their angel. He brings this company to life. That's where the show takes off. There's a techie geek character, always plays well, plays to a wide range of people. There's the beautiful admin assistant that will be part of the program. So anywhere from five to six characters, I'm thinking, and I think it's just going to be somewhat different. You know, it's been a classic theme, but at the same time, it's a little different. I know I can write it. I know I can make it funny. So I think that's the idea. To give you a little bit of background on me, I graduated in college at the Holy Cross, Worcester, Massachusetts. You may know another famous alumni of that school. Started this little organization right here. That's right, Bob Bright. Bob Bright. You know what he used to do? Head of NBC, guys. Don't make me call him. I don't want to burn a favor. I will. I'll call Bobby. I call him Bob. I call him Uncle Bobby, but we're not related. I don't know. I don't know Bob Wright, okay? I don't know, okay? I just thought it'd be cool. I thought I'd do the shirt and, you know, but he's got a lot more money and I don't know. But I think he'd like to see me move along, so give that some thought. I've been writing comedy a long time. I've written plays. I've written a blog. I've written a book. Look, look a book. There's my book. Can I be frank? You get it? Can I be frank? Comedy book I published a few years ago. I think you'd like it. Family, sports, politics, business, everything's in there. Pick up a copy, especially if you're not going to take me through the next round. Could you at least just buy my book? Wouldn't kill you. You people are all rich. Buy a book, $16.95. Go to Barnes & Noble. I digress. Startups, the show. Startups, the winner. Startup is the next big thing. I'm confident it will work. Give me a chance. Pass me along to the next round. Thank you, NBC.